The end of December is the deadline for local governments to commit American Rescue Plan Act or ARPA funds to their priorities. Tonight, 5 News reporter Jacob Luthi shows the boost the money has given to one shelter. The funding from ARPA and the city has allowed this dream to become a reality. Joe Coltis, Director of Services for Seven Hills Homeless Center in Fayetteville, says he's seen a positive impact as a direct result from ARPA funding, especially towards their overnight homeless shelter. He says funds are aimed at staffing, renovations, and getting the bed space from 16 people to 32, with goals to expand even more. We'll have 64 soon. That's a place, it's a program where people come in. We've had 112 unique guests since March. Out of those 112, 20%, one out of every five, has actually gone on to be housed or diverted other places, and 30% of those have found employment. On Tuesday, Fayetteville City Council allocated an additional 71 grand to Seven Hills, totaling its ARPA funds to just over half a million dollars. And Fayetteville City Council member Sarah Moore says she's happy over a million of the city's $17 million ARPA funds have gone to finding housing solutions. We, you know, we had once in a lifetime opportunity with American Rescue Plan Act funds that came into our communities. And, you know, one of the things I said was, you know, we want you to really focus in on disproportionately impacted populations. As temperatures begin to drop, Coltis says there's a greater need for warm spaces. We're partnered with Genesis Church, Salvation Army and Potter's House. So when the temperature dips below 15 degrees, those plans will be set into place. So Genesis will house people overnight. Potter's House allows us to come in during the day and keep people warm during the day. And we'll have our shelter here with 64 people as well. Coltis adds seeing the positive impact firsthand is rewarding. The greatest feeling is when someone comes in and tells us that they found a place to live. And they are so thankful and grateful. And it's a, it's a big moment for all of us because that person has completed that part of their journey and are able to move on to the next step of actually becoming a member of society. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Jacob Luthi, 5 News.